Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so I know there's a few people out there waiting for me to do this video and a huge apology for taking so long to get around to it, but I can assure you there's a story to it. So uh, yes, it is the fifth element and uh, this is the Zavi exclusive. And of course, when you're dealing with Zavi, there always seems to be a story. And uh, of course, there is a story with this release, which I will get to very, very soon. Uh, looking forward to taking us around this set as well. It is absolutely uh, fantastic and uh, I think you'll be impressed by what you see inside this one. Now, anyone that's aware of my channel, I think you will instantly notice that there is something a little different with my backdrop. As you can see, it's right here. And uh, what we've done at the weekend, me, me myself and my fiance, we actually built a new shelf and we put it directly behind the recliners here. And I have to tell you, it's freed up so much space for me. It actually, that shelf holds nearly 300 movies. And what I done was I actually put all my 3D Blu-rays on that shelf and I still have a bit of room there as well. And not only that, but it freed up, like I said, 260, 270 spaces on the left hand side of my room. Not just that, but it also freed up a bit of sh uh, shelf space on the right hand side as well. I was able to put a few items into this shelf as well. So um, I desperately needed this, uh, but I had no idea this shelf was going to turn out as good as it did. And um, I will be doing a video sometime in the future and showing you exactly what it looks like. But as you can see, I have my entire Walking Dead bus collection sitting on top of it, which looks fantastic. And uh, I was able to put my rear speakers uh, on, on each corner of it as well, uh, which sound absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, looking forward to taking us around that video uh, whenever I do get around to doing it. So uh, yes, the fifth element edition. Anyway, back to Dash. Uh, so there is a story. And uh, I actually pre-ordered this uh, probably around, wow, it must be close to a year ago uh, because there was that many delays with it. So I got an email off Savvy saying it was dispatched and uh, I was delighted, great stuff. And around, I think it was four or five days I, tr I checked the tracking on it. There was absolutely no movement going on. So I was persistent. I waited, left it for around two weeks. Nothing was happening with the tracking. I contacted my local post office, gave them the tracking number. They told me that they were given a notification that something was coming, but they never received it. So I contacted Savvy to find out what the hell was going on. And uh, within an hour of me sending the email to them, uh, they replied back to me, which is a bit of a strange thing when it comes to Zavi, because normally it takes them a couple of days. But they told me that it basically got lost in the post. Uh, and he told me what he tracked it on. And it was the same thing that I was tracking it on, but yet there was nothing on my end that said it was lost in the post. So I don't know where he got that from. And then when I, probably around a half an hour after I got that email, I got an email saying that my money was refunded. Now, anyone that's dealt with Savvy and had to return items to them, or if he's actually lost, if his items got lost in the post, you know as well as I do, Zavi always tell you you have to wait 28 days. Now, it didn't happen with this release. So I think something something's up with this. I really do. I think they may be taken, they took on too many pre-orders and they couldn't honor them. And they made up some ridiculous story about my package getting lost in the post. So thank you once again, Zavi. You are an absolute disgrace of a company. And I do not know why I insist in dealing with this. Well, I know why because uh, they brought out such beautiful releases. But then having said that, that's all down to everything blue, not Savvy themselves. But they are an absolute joke of a company and I do not know why these other companies like everything blue want to deal with them. They're just horrible, they really, really are. So, you are probably wondering then where I got this release. Well, the simple, the simple answer to it is a good friend of mine over here in Ireland, John Dowling, actually gifted, well not gifted me, he gave me his release so I can actually do this video for you. It's unbelievable because he never even opened it up. He hasn't even seen it himself. And yeah, he let me open it. He let me unwrap it all. And uh, John, a huge thank you for doing that. And I'm sure uh, a lot of people that's watching this video are gonna be praising you as well for that because I, again, I can actually show them this release and show them exactly how it looks in the best possible light. I'm, well, fingers crossed I am gonna be able to. So uh, a huge th thanks, John, for doing that. Um, I really do appreciate it. And I promise you, as you know already, this is going to be well looked after till I get it back to you, which should be in a couple of days. So folks, I, so when it comes to this release, it all comes down to eBay now. I'm going to have to try and find a copy. I'm going to have to deal with the fact that I'm going to have to pay a bit more for it. Uh, I've already tried getting one uh, from, a, it was actually from Germany. A fella selling three of them, believe it or not. 
absolutely sickens me. It really does sicken me. And he even tried a fast one. I, I actually was very, I think I was 10 seconds away from winning the auction. I think I was going to get it for around 160 euro, which is not bad because it was working out at around 20, 125 euro uh, from Xavi. And within 10 seconds to go, all of a sudden the bid jumped up to 200 euro. And that person won it. Uh, oh, well, persons, there was a few bids that went in. Uh, but it went up, it ended up going up to 200 euro. So I think it was around maybe 20 minutes after that auction ended, I got a message from that seller. And he turned around and he said, oh, the people that bid in are not, they're not going to, they're not paying, they're not paying for it. So I'm going to give you the option to buy it, but uh, it will have to be 200 euro. So I told him to go stick it right up his ass because uh, I knew exactly what he was doing. He was pulling a, pulling a fast one. So uh, yeah, you can already see that there's a lot of shite already when it comes to this release, but I'm hoping, I'm always, I've always said it when it comes to my videos, I am persistent. And I know the day will come when someone won't be able to get the money that they want for it. Uh, and I will be there to pounce on it when it does happen. Fingers crossed, it'll be sometime very soon. Right, folks, so I'm not going to waste any more time. Sorry about my rant there. So let's get on to the unboxing of this. I'm really looking forward to taking you around this one. Right, folks, so here we go, the fifth element. And uh, I'm hoping the lighting is going to be okay in this room. Please God, it is. But uh, the first thing I'm going to quickly say, and me and John spoke about this when he actually gave me this. Uh, Bruce Willis's face on the cover, it doesn't look the greatest. Uh, we weren't uh, convinced by it. Now, when you look at the rest of the cast, everyone looks perfect. But yeah, something about Bruce Willis, it just doesn't look quite right. Now, it's just a minor little gripe. Take nothing away from the artwork itself. It is absolutely exquisite. The colour scheme is beautiful. And uh, as you can see, if I bend the light against you, you can see all the spot glossing that's going on through this entire edition. And not just that, but the background has this beautiful grainy feel to it. It is absolutely extraordinary. I honestly can't praise it enough. And again, I'm hoping it comes across in the camera how beautiful this does look. So, uh, right, so I'm going to take this to the top of it there. So you can see you got the fifth element there, a nice bit of spot glossing going on. And then right around to the bottom is your unique number. And as you can see, John's is 653 of 1000. And then right on the spine there, you've got Big Bada Boom, uh, which is a quite a nice touch. And as you can see, that texturing is going all around the spine as well. And then lastly is the main spine, which is the fifth element. And uh, all lovely bit of spot glossing, including the Studio Canal logo and the uh, 4K logo as well. So uh, yeah, can't praise this enough. And this is the back artwork. There is a J card. I will quickly bring it in for you. But that's it there. You do get this little card as well. Uh, something's telling me that it will show you the number on the other side of it. But I'm not going to take it off because uh, I don't want to risk doing any damage to it whatsoever. So, so uh, yeah, that's the J card. And anyway, back to the artwork. And uh, check this out, it's just extraordinary, it really, really is. It's one of those releases, I've said it countless times on my videos, you can display it whatever way you want. I think this does look absolutely remarkable. And as you can see, when I bend that light again, you can see all the bit of spot glossing going on. And of course, that background has that an incredible grainy feel to it. It is, uh, it's exception, it really is. Right, so that is the main box. So I'm gonna open it up. It is magnetic, uh, magnetically sealed. Uh, as you can see there and when you do open it as you can see there is the ship that they end up on at the end of this and again lovely bit of texturing going on with that and let's open it up and see what we are dealing with so voila and uh, oh my god the left hand side here is just extraordinary uh, it is that scene where she is doing the martial arts uh, against the you know the mutants and uh, of course you got the city in the background there which just looks amazing so, uh, right, this is what we are dealing with. Uh, so we have the, the, I was gonna say the standard release. Now you can pick this version up. Uh, well, you could have, uh, but they have sold out and they're going for crazy money on eBay. And uh, this looks absolutely amazing as well. So uh, I will take us around this one quite soon, but I do wanna show you everything that's actually inside this box. So the first thing is they're gonna notice and, oh my God, uh, wow. Now this was, this is a real surprise because I was expecting this just to be kind of hard plastic, but this is actually all metal and it weighs, there's a great weight to it and it is incredibly well made. Oh my God, John, when you see this, I think you're going to be ecstatic with it. It is absolutely incredible. So as you can see, it is uh, Lilo Dallas's multi-pass. 
Oh my God, that is absolutely incredible. What a great replica. And that is the back of it, Dell. That really is incredible. So uh, that is the multi-pass. So I'm gonna just quickly take this box out, hopefully with no issues. So I can show you everything that's under it. But as you can see there as well, you got the fifth element written, uh, 1997. So uh, put that to a side. So let's have a look at the few items that you get inside. So this is uh, one of the drinks that you see in this movie. It's just a simple sticker. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the back of it, no. So uh, yeah, one little sticker there. You've also got this uh, small poster. Uh, I think there was a steel book you could buy uh, with this um, this poster artwork, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I don't think, I have a steel book of Fifth Element, but I don't think it's this one. Uh, but yeah, I love the artwork on that. Simple little poster. Uh, you've got this uh, yoke as well, it's to do with the opera. It is. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the back of it either. No. So put that to a side, and then of course you got uh, <laughs> Ruby Ro uh, Ruby Rod. Uh, it's just uh, his little banner poster, or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, you can sort of see his uh, him and there in the background. You got the rose as well. Uh, Chris Tucker is absolutely fantastic in this movie. I can't praise him enough. Uh, incredibly funny. So uh, right, put that to a side, and the last thing you will see in this box set is a simple stills booklet and um I, well i'm presuming it's a stills booklet but uh as you can see the artwork looks kind of similar to what you see on the left hand side here uh high gloss finish on it as well and then you've got a bit of that city as well so i'm not going to spend too much time with this folks it is simply yeah i think i'm, I'm absolutely correct it is a, a stills booklet um so i'm not gonna yeah i'm just gonna quickly flip through it but as you can see there's that sticker that i actually showed there just earlier and uh, yeah, that is the booklet. So there you have it, folks. That is everything uh, inside the actual main box set. So I'm gonna put that to a side. Let's get on with the smaller release. Now, I have removed the J card off that as well. Uh, and John, you'll be happy to report that your this edition is matching up to the big box set. Because John heard someone told him that the uh, sets inside weren't matching up. But uh, yes, yours is matching, so you have nothing to worry about. So that's the J card and right on to this release we go. And as you can see, it is, you know, the color scheme is the exact same, but my God, the artwork is very, very different, which is always great to see. And uh, much like the main box set as well, you got that kind of texturing going on through it, but you also got that lovely bit of spot glossing, which I'm hoping uh, my lighting is picking up here, but look at that, just incredible. There's no, there's no doubt about it. The work that's gone behind this release uh, is exceptional absolutely incredible so that's the top of it there you got the fifth element and the bottom will give you a unique number again 653 and that's the contents inside and then of course when you flip to the other side you do have uh, the fifth element there we go all but nice spot glossing going on and then the back, back artwork on this is Bruce Willis and you got the cab there and uh, yeah, just like the main cover, you have a lovely bit of spot glossing going on through the back of it. And again, all that texture in it is all there as well. So uh, yeah, I honestly can't praise it enough. I really can't. I know I had a little gripe there to start with Bruce Willis and how he looked, but uh, as you can see, the rest of the pictures look fine. So uh, right, let's open this up. Let's have a look and see what we are dealing with here. So you've got an envelope and you've got the steel book. So I'm gonna start with the steel book. And then we'll make our way onto the envelope itself. So there is a J card. Uh, it simply wraps around it. There you go. That's the back. And uh, I'll take his in close so he's going to have a look at some of the technical aspects. But as you can see, the Blu-ray on this is region B locked. And uh, yeah, the 4K transfer on this is absolutely spectacular. If you haven't seen it already, I, uh, I recommend doing so. So here we go. This is the Steelbook. Exact same color scheme as the other two boxes, but again, different artwork. And this has a beautiful high gloss feel to it. Uh, and it just looks, yeah, it looks exquisite, just like everything else in this release. Uh, wow, the Steelbook. Now, I can't remember if you can buy the Steelbook separately. I'm Something's telling me you can, but chances are it's already sold out. But uh, yeah, it is a beautiful Steelbook. So that is the spine of it now. If I can get it in focus, there we go. And right around to the back and look at the back artwork on this. A lot of the back artwork and through this entire set is absolutely amazing. It's the opera singer. You got the ship there as well. Just beautiful. 
So I will actually open the steelbook in full so you can see it all together. up. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. And then inside you've got your 4K disc and you've got your Blu-ray disc. Now I'm not going to take the disc out. I can just tell you the background is just simply the city. You've already seen a bit of it during uh, through this entire set. But uh, as you can see, the discs, uh, disc artwork is very different on each release, which is always nice to see. So there we go, folks. That is the Steelbook. And all that's left to do now is to finally show uh, the envelope and what's inside it. So here we go. So it's the scene with Lee, uh, Lilo Dallas jumps out of the building. Uh, you know, the scene where she just falls through the roof of uh, Bruce Willis's cab. And then right around to the back is just a bit more of that city. It's actually, it makes up one picture, which I'll show you now in one second. So I'm just going to remove all the contents out quickly so I can show you. But yeah, there you go. And uh, as you can see written on the spine there, it says the fifth element, uh, the fifth element, there is no future without. I think that's what it says. Just let me see. Uh, the, fifth, uh, the fifth element, there is no future without. So yeah, that is the, uh, the envelope case anyway. I'll put that to a side. Right, so here's all the stuff that you get inside and there is quite a bit here. So uh, we are gonna start with the first item that I have in my hand here. It is a simple little patch and it is very, very nice. I actually do have a lot of patches, that has to be said when it comes to uh, some of my collector's editions, but this one is very nice. So there's nothing on the back of it there. So I uh, put that to a side. Then you got this uh, security card, lovely bit of hard plastic, very well made this as well. Uh, as you can see, it's the Zorg Industries. Uh, science division weapons research and that is the back of it there very nice so right what else have we got we have a small another small little poster here now yes i think this is the steel book that i have uh, up in my in my movie room i think that's the one i have so it's nice to see the two poster artworks for two different steel books that you can get out there for the fifth element uh, nice steel book that as well Right, so uh, you've also got another small little booklet here. I'm not quite sure what this is, but as you can see, it has a high gloss finish. You've got a couple of the characters there in each, uh, whatever you want to call it. I was going to say a circle, but it's not a circle. Uh, kind of more of an oval. And that is the back of it there. It's just a bit more of that city. And uh, let's have a look. It's a simple little stills book again. So uh, not going to spend too much time with it. it gives us a good idea of it. So there we go. Yeah. Simple little small still booklet. So we have another envelope here. And that is the artwork for it. Again, keeping up with the whole purple kind of scheme as well. So what have we got inside this one? Uh, it could be simply character cards. Something's telling me it might be. So, uh, or maybe it's just simple stills from the actual movie itself. Which, uh, you got Gary Oman there, of course. You got Media Jovovich, Bruce Willis. So yeah, just a couple of little, uh, I suppose they're kind of like character cards. And uh, as you can see, these are all the elements as well in the back of it. So uh, right, that's what's in that small little envelope. Uh, then we've got a few more. These, yeah, these actually kind of look like character cards as well. So uh, quickly run through these. You've got Bruce Willis again, Media Jovovich, Gary Oldman. Uh, is it Ian Holm? It is Ian Holm, I think. So uh, right. A couple of just character cards and not only that but as far as i think i might have seen an unboxing but as you can see they do ask uh questions on the backs of them and then not only that you also get the answers on a postcard here which is this one and is there anything on the back no there's nothing there so that's the answers so i think they've done that before funny enough with the rambo release and then the last thing you see here, it's actually another picture of the, I think this might be the main artwork for the fifth element. Now this one, you can actually display it as you can see there, you can open that up and have it sitting up. But uh, yeah, I think that might be the original artwork for this movie. Uh, it does look fantastic. Now folks, so there you have it. Now just quickly bring these in for you. So you do have your gorgeous uh, main box set there. Of course you have the box set that's sitting inside it and that steel book as well. And as you can see, look at all, they do go beautifully together, but it's great to see that all the artwork is completely different on each release. I honestly can't praise it enough, praise this set enough and uh, cannot wait to see what the Leon edition is going to be. That's the next one coming out from Everything Blue. Uh, if it's anything like this, it's going to be fantastic. Right folks, so there you have it. That is everything inside that fantastic release of The Fifth Element and that multi-pass 
does look extraordinary. I wasn't expecting it to be actual metal. Uh, it was a real pleasant surprise. So it kind of got my juices going a bit more to finally get my own release of this. And fingers crossed, I can get it in the near future. And hopefully I won't have to overspend for it. So there you have it folks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below and please share your thoughts on this spectacular release. And a huge, huge shout out again to John Dowling for lending me this release and allowing me to do this video for you. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.